How you doing? Steve Winter here, Rock God. So here we are in Axe Edit, and uh, I'm going to show you how to audition cabinets before actually loading them into memory. All right, so here we have a, here's a preset that I created myself or modified, whatever you want to call it. So cabinets greatly influence the sound that uh, you can get with just one amp. So right here I'm using, actually this cabinet here was mic'd from the back. And I can, now I can audition one that's mic'd off axis in the front. Completely different sound. <laughs> This particular sound is a uh, Herbie Channel 3 amp. I think it's a diesel amp. And I actually, it's, it's a pretty high gain amp. If I turn the drive off, I've still got some crunch in there. I've just uh, lately been getting into the high, high gain stuff. So. So we're going to go into Tools, Axe Manage Cabs. Now once you do this, any changes you just made to your sound will get initialized to a, the original state of the sound or the preset. So I think when you bring it up for the first time, it does not open the browser. So it'll look like this. And right now we're looking at all the user slots here. And yours, I'm assuming, are going to be empty. So I'm going to go into the Browser show browser. I'm going to go into here again. I'm going to go open directory. I'm going to choose my folder. Now my folder is on my desktop. So it's in the Cab Pack 5 Ultra Res 412 collection. Now within this collection you have to go into the SysX2 folder and within that folder you're going to have all the different cabs. Within the cabs themselves, now if you click on a folder, hit OK, it's going to scan the folder, hit OK, and now we're looking at everything that's in the folder. Now right now it's not actually loaded into your memory, it's just you're looking at what's on the drive. But the great thing about it is that you can audition them before actually bringing them into your Axe Effects. So, um, if I, for instance, this is the sound I have now, my in initial sound. <laughs> I'll double click on this one and first time that you do it, it's just going to tell you it's going to the scratch pad. Hit OK. Now this one, this is a, a, I don't know what Rev is, but. This one is mic'd off axis. Once you, you know, you listen to a sound that you like, a cabinet that you like, all you're going to do is you're going to drag it into an empty slot. I don't really have any right now. So if you drag it into one where there is one, well, I'll just overwrite it. But it hasn't written anything yet because I didn't hit save. So this one I just dragged in. And you're just going to go through the cabs, choose the ones that you like, because you have a limited, you only have a hundred, and there are so many to choose from you, they really load up fast. So I just changed the one in 031. So when you do it, hopefully you'll load in a bunch of cabs, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then you hit save. It's going to go OK. All right. Now we can just close the uh, browser. All right, now if I look at my cabinet, this is not the one that I just know. This is still on the one that it was uh, initially on. So I think it was 31 off axis. If I click on that one. So the different 
the different uh, cabinets that you go to, you hear differences immediately. So it's a really amazing way to change your sound without doing anything other than changing the cabinet. Now, another thing you can do is if you go into stereo ultra res mode, you can choose two cabinets, ultra res cabinets, at the same time. This one's actually got a microphone assigned to it. I'm going to take it off. So let's put a Marshall here. So this one, oh, they're both Marshalls. Let's change that. I'll go to a Recto, which is a Mesa Boogie. Change that one. So another cool, uh, cool way of getting different sounds. So this is all without doing anything but changing your cabs. So I highly recommend it. And if you have some time and you want to play around with sounds, it's a great way to get different sounds. Till next time, Steve Winter, Rock God.